Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are touring my very first Animal Crossing island. Before we get started though, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that like, subscribe, and notify button. If you want to see more content like this in the future, it really does help me out. So I wanted to share this island with you today because I totally forgot that I actually recorded and documented this. I was gonna do a tutorial today and then I remembered the video existed and I thought why not review one of the islands that I worked super hard on, especially since this was four months after the game's release. So this island was five stars and I remember spending hours of the day playing this. And if you really want to know kind of like what where the uh, history of horrible gaming came from, it is from this video. The short story of this is my husband used to run horrible gaming. Then I stole it for him because I mean like that. I stole it because I wanted it to be mine. And I posted one of my Animal Crossing videos on there and I remember him being like, Nora, why are you posting your Animal Crossing crud on my channel? And I was like, deal with it. I want to share it with my friends. So I did that and the video actually went Facebook viral. I was like so shocked about that. And I was like, well, maybe, maybe I should do some streams on Animal Crossing. So I started streaming and the streams were on my local Animal Crossing Facebook group. And I did that for a while, honestly. And then I guess I wanna say it was a year ago where I decided to move over to YouTube because a lot of people were like, Nora, you need to move over to YouTube because I don't want to dox myself. And I was like, but all the hard work that I've done, like I'm basically starting over, but I did it. I'm on YouTube. So this is basically where it all started. This island is going to be special to me forever because again, my very first Animal Crossing island and I just don't really remember much on it. So I'm really glad we're actually reviewing this. So during this creation of this island, I guess I labeled it as a fairy core tropical theme. And obviously you can definitely see a lot of fairy core aspects. I have Nova lights basically everywhere. The fun fact about this island too is it was one of the first islands that ever used mush lamps on a tropical theme. So I honestly feel like around July, which is when this island video was posted, that's when the mush lamp started to really take effect on tropical themes. So it's kind of cool to see that happen. Another thing I want to talk about is I also made use of my favorite code, which I'm actually still using on my current jungle theme, these plant codes here. And then there's this bridge illusion that is made from terraform. You'll see that later when we go over to Tangy's house. So those two codes are still my favorite till this day especially when i'm doing a natural island and a lot of the leaf codes and flower codes too so if you've been following me for a while you probably have seen me use these codes quite a bit those are codes that are probably never will stop being my favorites i also remember doing a lot of beach houses and beach decorating in general which is something i never do anymore because Honestly, I'm just lazy and I don't feel like doing my beaches, but because this was my first island and I wanted to put a lot of work into it, I decorated them. So don't expect this to probably ever happen anytime soon ever again, but that is something I'm still proud of. I will not label this as the worst island I've created because it was my very first Animal Crossing island. However, I do want to talk about where I have improved, which is definitely where my waterscaping is, how I've placed natural paths down in general, how I also use items and decorate in general. Keep in mind that this island was done four months after Animal Crossing New Horizons release date. So I still didn't know what the game could do and what we could handle. City core was not a thing for me yet. My very first city core was created on this same island that we're looking at today, but I had completely removed it and flattened it. I used to just flatten my island completely until we got the dream address update. One of my favorite spots on the island is actually this area here upwards to Tangy's house. And as you can see, there's that bridge illusion. And I've always loved how this looked and I ended up adding it to all of my tropical themes since, especially if it was like something more natural. I think it honestly has even made it on a couple of forest themes. But that is still one of my favorite codes till this day. Like I see that code everywhere because it is so good. This area here, I remember rushing this because I wanted to get the island done to start my first city core. 
but I did notice that I had a lot of cottage core like features too on this island which is weird to me honestly now that I'm seeing this because I struggle a lot with cottage core but I did try my best to do a lot of waterscaping and again I feel like I've really improved on my waterscaping since because a lot of this felt more beginner like now I know that uh, this island might be something super good to somebody right now but to me as a creator I'm not saying it's awful I'm saying that I've really have improved since then and I'm proud of that but I definitely would never ever say that this island is awful because it just has so many great memories on it I remember hosting you know friends over fishing actually doing my museum again this was before I even had my spicy console so a lot of effort was put into this and it took me a lot of time to do I actually remember removing all of this over here and I don't have a video on it but I ended up moving all of this and transitioning it into like a giant pirate ship so that was really fun now I feel like something I've really been lacking on is decorating my beaches and my house as you can see all the beaches on this island were decorated I even did interiors like I don't do that anymore because I'm lazy so what I'm taking from this video and just reflecting on my very first Animal Crossing Island, I need to step up my house decorating game again and my beaches. Like I'm slacking. So maybe, just maybe, we'll start doing those again. The reason why I honestly don't do them is because I'm so focused on getting our next island done and getting our content out. So I just honestly don't have the time. I wanted to share this island with y'all today because it is, of course, my very first Animal Crossing theme. This island is basically a time capsule for me. It shows where my headspace was at the time building wise. And yes, I have definitely improved since then. But this island will always be special to me because a lot of work was put into it. And I feel like if you are new to Animal Crossing and you're watching this video today, do not compare your island to anybody else. We all start somewhere and the main focus of this game is just to have fun and be creative. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed reflecting with me on my very first Animal Crossing island. With that being said, have a horrible day. See you next video.